Did you think this day would arrive? I mean, when you're so close to it again? I thought it would arrive. I wasn't sure it'd be this early, um, but I'm just so thankful that, um, you know, everyone in the community has done the right thing and um, obviously we've had special exemptions that have allowed us to uh, come back to and, and resume and um, you know starting tonight we can put a big smile on some on people's faces we've had a really difficult period um, probably dating back to the bushfires really so it's a great opportunity now for us to um, get back out on the park and, and give everyone a bit of um, a, put a smile on their faces. What's the feeling in the locker room? Excitement. Um, I I remember doing a press conference when we first came back and um, you know the excitement on the boys faces was um, so obvious and that smile to be honest hasn't really um, come off their faces and today in the training session um, I was super proud of the way not only they trained but um, they did it with such joy and, and real excitement and um, you know it really uh, to me it told us that footage just around the corner and the boys are ready to go. Speaking of excited, mate, it's been a while since you've got to sing the club song with absolute gusto. I think it was the big win over here at Geelong. Yep. What I mean, the last one. How, how just that, you're all competitive beasts. How, just to get out there and feel those hits again and get to be in the winner's circle again, it's must be just a driving force for you. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a, um, obviously, it's been a, a little bit of a, a time between drinks yeah. here in our song, but we understand there's a really um, important process that needs to be done, and we didn't execute that good enough in round one against Hawthorne, unfortunately. And, um, you know, the great thing about football is we get another opportunity and we do against Fremantle this weekend who um, are coming over and um, they've been here for a few days now, they would have adapted, um, they no doubt would have trained today as well. So they're going to be ready to go, they're going to come up here hungry and um, we need to match them and put up a better effort than what we did um, round one. Must be so refreshing to talk about footy and matchups and all that sort of stuff after so long without. Yeah, yeah. definitely, yeah, absolutely. COVID talks probably... Um, dominated the uh, the scenes for a while, but to get back and talk opposition and talk football again, um, you know, I know Fags has uh, been pacing up and down, excited, excited about it, as is all our coaches, um, so um, we're ready to go, we're excited. Has this tested you as a captain, Zorks, or is this a different challenge for a captain? Like, you've really re revelled in the role, but to be captain through this period, how, do you feel like your leadership has grown over that period because of the unique circumstances? Uh, funnily enough, I feel as though I've connected with um, our players on a, a deeper level, if that makes sense. Um, you know, obviously talking to players um, every week and catching, um, catching with, up with them on Zoom calls and talking to them over the phone. Um, you know, it's normally a text, but I've really tried to do that over, over phone calls this time. And um, I feel as though I've been able to, to talk to all of our players in different ways and learn a lot more about them. And I guess being isolated with, um, you know, only been able to train with a pair, um, you get to know you know players on a much deeper level and talk a lot more things that's just not football. Um, so I've actually enjoyed that. Um, hopefully that translates out on the field, which I'm, no doubt I'm sure it will. Talk about that Hawks game, it feels like an eternity ago. Have you even looked at it? Have, you, is it? have there been things that you've been trying to fix out of that or was it so long ago that it's hard to take anything from it? Uh, no, absolutely. We looked at that um, pretty thoroughly. Um, we looked a little bit on it last week as well. Uh, it just wasn't us, it just isn't the way we um, play our football. So we looked at that really sharply, um, fixed up a few things. And um, as I said, I've been really impressed with how the guys have trained over the past fortnight um, in executing um, our game plan to what it was similar to last year. We talk about uh, there's normal footy conversations. There's always questions of going into games. I mean, Cam was pretty sore early in the week. You, you were getting a nice rub down on the car, on the Achilles. I saw one of the TV networks talking about you, you are feeling good. You, as a team, are you expecting everyone, everyone to play? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, apart from Marcus, who's probably still a couple of weeks away with his foot, um, we've got a really healthy list and i um, really impressed with how Cam trained this morning. Um, he was pretty sore on Tuesday when I saw him, but um, looks like he's done his recovery really well over the past 48 hours and he trained really well this morning. So expecting him to take his spot, I'm all clear, I'm fine, I'm ready to go. So um, it's just good to be back, I reckon. Can you give us a hint? Are there any new faces? I mean, is there, is there going to be any changes? Like there, there will certainly be some new faces, um, and whoever it is will certainly come in and do a role for us. So um, we have complete faith in our whole list. And I think the beauty about the last month is we've been able to have really solid hit outs um, and see some of our talent come through. And, um, you know, there's no doubt through injuries that, you know, someone will certainly take place, and whoever it is will um, play their best performance for the role. Can you take Fags and shot Thunder and tell us who it is? Oh, absolutely not. He'd hate that if I did that. So, um, nah, look, they've still got match committee this afternoon um, that they'll finalise the teams with. So, um, whoever comes in, as I said, they'll do their role for the team. Um, 
which is really important because we focus heavily on a whole team aspect and um, you know you need everyone on the same park and I'm sure they'll do that. What do you expect from Freer? I mean they've literally been uprooted haven't they? I mean there's been a, a, a stellar change in their life. Yeah definitely um, it's a unique situation for that but I can only draw on our experiences when we travel and um, I feel like it really galvanises the group and you can set little goals along the way and, and I'm sure they would have done the same and there's no better feeling than if you can achieve them. So they're going to rock up here on Saturday, um, absolutely raring to go as a really, really tight knit group. They're obviously going to catch a bus here from um, the Gold Coast, I presume. So, you know, they'll be um, ready to go because all I can draw on is what we were able to do on the road last year and, and those wins you really cherish and I've got no doubt that they're um, trying to come away with a real positive record um, this month they're away. We're so close to this competition restarting, there's been a couple of uh, COVID protocol sort of breaches in the last couple of days. Have, have people sort of maybe la lapsed a bit? Or is, is the seriousness maybe, the, the forgetting the seriousness when now that we're so close? Oh look, I, I would have thought um, anyone's gone out to do it on purpose, um, that's for sure. Um, you know. I think it just goes to show just how serious the rules are. You know, we've um, been given some special exemptions to um, to live by um, and to be able to bring the game back to the TV. So it's really important that everyone sticks by them and no one would have gone out of their way to break the rules. I've no doubt about that. Um, it's obviously a misjudgment or miscommunication or whatever it may have been, but um, you know, no one's going out to intentionally break the rules. We understand how important it is to get the game back up and running and um, you know, it's finally here. And unfortunately, um, you know, People make mistakes at times, and whether it was, um, it certainly wouldn't have been intentional, Mark, that's for sure. Well, no fans this weekend, but yeah. hopefully, maybe. Fingers, fingers crossed. crossed next week? Yeah, fingers crossed for sure. Obviously, the government has to talk um, a little bit more about that, but, um, you know, we're, we were expecting for the first month to be no fans, and really for the whole year, so nothing really changes in our camp. Um, we expect um, if fans do are able to come back, fantastic, but we certainly weren't planning on it, so nothing really changes for us.